to get those shoes. Those shoes must be something special, man, because I heard in Thailand they've got nine-year-olds that will sit, sweat, and sew, and go and go and go and go and go to that machine, don't sew no more. I hope you know, man, those shoes are something special. We're at the All-Star Game today, and we're really trying to bring home to the crowds and to ultimately the owners of these teams that uh, people are enjoying themselves coming to watch baseball games but behind it is a lot of people who work under horrible working conditions. What we're going to do is we're going to go through with our signs and we're going to capture each of the statues. We're going to march across the bridge and we're going to hold up our signs at the Roberto Clemente uh, for a photograph. And we're going to send Bangladesh a civil rights bridge at the Sweatshop All-Star. No Sweatshop Baseball! So we're here to be with Pittsburgh fans to put pressure on baseball to end sweatshop baseball. But we were also here in order to make it clear that uh, Peter Angelos isn't welcome as a friend of labor, which is what he's known for. He's the owner of the Orioles. He made a promise to our members that he was going to pay them a living wage, and then he broke that promise. And we didn't expect to run into Peter Angelos, but we ran into him. Ran into him. He's walking into a hotel, getting out of a limousine, and uh, we started yelling at him. He actually uh, yelled back at us. He said, uh, you effers and I think he said F F off and uh, this is uh, from a man who claims to who's made all his money from labor uh, suing uh, on behalf of workers and in Baltimore he's like basically like a party boss and so he broke this promise we got a chance to confront him directly which we don't get to do very often because he's always cloistered and so we thought this, this was a great day for us to be out with the citizens of Pittsburgh to let them know that uh, we want no more sweatshops. And this is the not, not the end of a big campaign so that we can help workers um, where they're organizing in other countries as well as our own. This is a human rights issue and we want um, no more sweatshops, bucko. This was fantastic and I feel that we have sent a very clear message to the owners of the Pittsburgh Pirates Baseball Club and Major League Baseball that we are demanding an academic standard, which means full public disclosure of factory locations, wage disclosure, a responsible code of conduct, and a policy that says no more cutting and running of sweatshop factories and workers' jobs. Outside the USA, MJ ain't the only one getting paid. I mean, that corporation is worth multi-billions multi -billions of dollars ran by multi-Harvard scholars and multinational nations. So if you look at it, that swoosh is like a huge, big plantation. But you think that nine-year-old knows about the Emancipation Proclamation that freed the slaves? Oh, but he ain't a slave. I mean, they're paying him, what, 23 cents a day? And don't you think that's a bit much for such a special shoe? Hey, man, you think you could fly too?